physically possible to be happy for a hundred straight days? What? Last year I did the 100 days of happiness challenge. And when I started this challenge, I was going through a lot. Um, I was really depressed. And I, I just needed something that would help me get out of my depression. I decided to just give this a try. I was like, why not, you know? Anything that will help. Well, not anything, but <laughs> if, it, if it helps, then it helps. If it doesn't, then I tried. And the instructions were simple. And it said, write down one thing every day that makes you happy for 100 days. So on the first day I wrote, I got my hair done. Next day, I wrote something like, I hung out with my friend. And then the day after that, I, Blah, 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 blah. So and it kept going on and on and on and on and on and on for 100 days straight. At the end of 100 days of happiness, I'm gonna be real, I wasn't happy. But does that mean it didn't work? Does that mean for those 100 days I wasn't happy? That it doesn't count? That the challenge was a fail? No. I, I don't think so. I don't think it was a fail. Here are the things I did learn within this one within that 100 days it really challenged me to focus on the small things and I realized it's truly the small things that meant the most to me so it was something simple like I hung out with my friends I ate my favorite meal or I get eight hours of sleep today so really it was the small things that meant the most that meant the most to me throughout the 100 days another thing that I learned I wrote down. Oh my gosh, this is the biggest thing for me. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. The one of the biggest things that I learned throughout this challenge that really had just like a huge transformation on my mindset and who I am as a person was to protect my peace my joy, my happiness. I stopped saying yes to people and things that didn't make me happy. And if I had something or someone in my life that jeopardized that that jeopardized my happiness or like my positive energy and good vibes, I literally was like, "Hey, it's either you got to change your behavior or you got to go." And for a lot of people, they went, and I'm not sad about that at all. Cause, because for me, it's like, if you're not, if you love me as much as you say you do, or if you say you love me and you care about me, then making this change for me would not be that, would not be a big deal for you. It would not be a deal breaker on our relationship. So yeah, now I'm a person that my peace is the first thing. My peace and happiness is the first thing I take into account before I do anything. The last, the most important thing that I learned I learned what made, oh my gosh, this is a lot. This is a thing that many people don't know. And it's, and I feel like it's what gets a lot of us trapped in just like a point where we're not growing. I learned most of all what makes me happy. Have you ever just really sat down and asked yourself what makes, what makes you happy? Really? Do you know what makes you happy? What makes you happy? What, what makes you happy? Tell me what makes you happy? Help, cause I'm happy, clap along if you feel like happiness is the truth. Then at the end, if I learned all this stuff, can I really say that the 100 days of happiness was a flop? When I got to my last day and I wrote down that one thing that made me happy that day and I did an overall reflection of the things, of like how I was feeling in that moment, like was I happy? And I came to the decision that no, I was not happy. Best in believe, I changed. I was like, okay, I'm not happy. What can I do about it? What can I change to make myself happy? What, what's making me unhappy right now? A lot of people can't do that. A lot of people do not do that. A lot of people will know that they are not happy and will stay in their situation. Nah, bruh. No. I was like, oh, I'm not happy. Oh shit, we gotta change. We gotta make a change. <laughs> I told y'all weird. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so.
try the 100 days of happiness challenge. Let me know if you do it. I, I challenge you to do it because you will discover so much about yourself. And I'm even gonna start it up again. Uh, today I'm gonna write down one thing that makes, one thing that made me happy. And most likely it'll be like, I got the balls and I got the courage and I worked up and I got over my fear and I posted this video on YouTube. <sighs> so yeah, that was the 100 Days of Happiness Challenge for Thank me. Thank you for watching my first video. Thank you for rocking with me. Let me know again. Let me know if you take this challenge. Let me know if you've done it before. If you're doing it right now, let me know what day you're on. I don't care if you're on day number one. If you're day number two, you're on day number 65, day number 99, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Okay. And don't forget to comment. Comment down below. Like. Subscribe and share. I think I got everything right. Oh wait, hit that bell button. I don't know if it's here or is it here. It's somewhere and this is somewhere down there in that area. Hit the bell button so you'll be notified whenever I post a video, okay? All right, bye loves. Okay. Hey, hi, hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. You sound weird. Let me just get some water. <laughs> mm.